Hey guys, one second before I get into the video. I want to kick a shout out to my friend, my good buddy, the Wavy Gamer, for letting me use his footage. And for future references, if I can't bring you the glitches fast enough, I will be using his footage and linking his channel in the description. So subscribe to both of our channels and look at it as if you get double the dose. So with that being said, let's hop right into the video. Yo, welcome back. Thanks for coming back to the channel. It's me, The Wavy Gamer, back at you with another GTA 5 online video. All right, y'all, I got some dope shit for y'all today. I'm gonna show you how to get the new Heavy Insurgent, how to store that in your garage. I'm gonna also show you how to get the MTL Dune in your garage using uh, the latest Give Cars to Friends uh, workaround. All right, the one that I posted last night. Also, I'm gonna show you that you can uh, take sourced vehicles from other players. All right, if your friend is sourcing a vehicle, he can give it to you, all right? So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Hit that like button, smash that subscribe, sub if you're new. All right, y'all, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you got a friend and the MOC. Okay, grab a street vehicle, drive it into your MOC like I just did. All right, grab me a Sand King. I drove it in. Make sure, uh, make sure, make sure there's nothing in there, okay? So drive a, a street vehicle in there. When you drive it in there, it'll put a tracker on there. All right, drive right back out. After you drive out, you want to go over to the blue circle and hold the start button. All right, while you're holding the start button, you want to hit right on the D-pad and let them both go at the same time. All right, guys, it's just like yesterday's glitch. It's the exact same method. I'm just going to show you how to get some different vehicles other than street cars, all right? But as you know, you can get street cars, upgraded street cars from your friends and uh, high-end street cars, okay, off the street. All right, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go over to the blue circle like so. Hold the start button, all right? I'm gonna wait for the, uh, you know, the icon to pop up on the left hand, left hand, top left corner of my screen. There it is. Hit it right on the D-pad to go into the MOC. So I'm gonna hold the start button, tap right on the D-pad, let them go at the same exact time, all right? Got it on the first try, as you see. Once that happens, tell your friend to pick you up with a cargo bob. All right, I should've said at the beginning of the video, you got, uh, your friend needs to have a cargo bob. So one friend, a cargo bob, and it doesn't matter the session. All right, you need an MOC. All right, so once you're on that pause screen, you'll know that you hit it right if your play job and quick job is grayed out. Look at my screen. I can't hit play job or quick job, all right? So I know I hit the glitch right. Once that happens, you want your friend to pick you up in the cargo bob and drop you in the water, all right? After he drops you in the water, he needs to start up a job. But when, what me and my friends did was, he picked me up in the cargo bob and he just started up the job from the cargo bob. That way the cargo bob and the car just fell in the water. You know what I'm saying? He didn't have to drop me and then start up a job. That would take more time. But tell your friend to start the job up while he's flying over the water. He doesn't even have to drop you from the cargo bob. Just start the job up. The cargo bob and the uh, car will fall in the water. All right, go to start online players. Join his uh, job. It doesn't matter if you're in the invite only. It doesn't have to kick you right back down under that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So just join the job, back out. Once you back out, the glitch is hit. You feel what I'm saying? Now to get the insurgent, all right? Your friend, you need to have at least one friend. Doesn't have to be the friend that's helping you, but you gotta have a friend that owns a bunker and it has a, at least a little bit of product to sell, all right? The only way that you can get the insurgent is from a, a cell mission. So tell your friend to start up a cell mission. As you see on my mini map, you see the red, you see the red marker flashing right there? My friend went to go sell some product. All right, the game gave him an, uh, the new custom insurgent and gave him the new custom insurgent to use during his cell mission. All right, guys, so what he's going to do is he's just going to park it up. I'm going to go over to it. I won't be able to get in it while he's in it. All right, so what he's going to do is hit start online and go to creator. Once he goes to creator, I'll be able to get in the vehicle once he actually leaves the session. All right, so soon as, uh, basically, I'm just going to spam Y. I'm going to stand next to the damn truck and I'm going to spam Y. So give me a second. I'm going to bribe authorities. Cops are going crazy. All right, you see that dude in that Hydra trying to kill me or whatnot. Shout out to Lost Glitches and um, my man Ghost Beast, aka Ghost Wreck, for helping me out with this video. Shout out to them. Uh, Lost's link will be in the description. All right, so I'm standing next to the Insurgent uh, Custom right now. You see him pause. He's in the pause menu. He's about to go to start online creator. All right, right now I'm just spamming Y. As you see, I'm going to get in the back seat as soon as he leaves. All right, see, he got out the car because he went to creator. It put me in the back seat. I was just spamming the Y. But I'm going to hop back out. I'm gonna hop back out and get in the front seat. As you see, um, the red marker on my map just disappeared. Basically saying that the player left and he's no longer selling this product, but I still have the vehicle. All right, you just gotta stand next to the vehicle while he goes to start online creator. 
as soon as he's gone, get in the vehicle, drive it over to your MOC. Well, in range of your MOC to hit right on the D-pad. The only reason you can't see the marker that, that says hit right on the D-pad to go inside is because that, uh, you know, that, that lobby shit was going on up in the upper left-hand corner. You saw that purple notification. All right, guys, but it's simple as that. As you see, I got the new insertion inside of my MOC, and you already know what to do from here. Drive it outside, put it in any garage. All right, guys, so hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell next to my name. Don't miss out on the future GTA 5 online video as I do keep y'all updated with the dope shit in the community. I know it's a little bit, it's a little late today, but I did promise y'all this video. All right, so as you see right here, I just wanted to show you that I can still uh, source vehicles from other players. My friend, he went and sourced the vehicle, brought it over to me. I hopped in it. All right, you see the repair calls in the bottom right. But yeah, just hit right on the D-pad. I can take it inside. All right, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but you don't have to take the original sourced car. All right, let your friend source the vehicle, whatever. Wait till he goes to sell that vehicle and it has all the upgrades on it and whatnot. So tell your friend to hook it up the way you want it. Then tell him to hit sell and then you take it from him. That way you won't be getting, you know, uh, a stock a stock T20 or, or or stock Osiris or X80 or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It'll be fully upgraded because he's about to sell it to the buyer. All right, then you take it from him. All right, so I figured I'd tell you guys that because I nobody's ever, nobody's actually said that. Nobody said that. They just said take the vehicle source, you know I mean, the source vehicles or whatever, but take the ones that you're selling, that your friend is selling because they're upgraded. All right, now right here, guys, I'm gonna show you how to store the MTL Doom. All right, this can happen either two ways. Well, three ways, <laughs> all right? I can drive it in, it could glitch into the wall, but I'll still be standing inside of my MOC, meaning I can just walk over to the door and exit. All right, second thing, when you drive it in, you can get glitched into this like dark crawl space in between the MOC and nothing. All right, you won't be able to get out, so you'll need your friend to invite you somewhere out of, the, out of your MOC. All right, um, third scenario, you fall through the map like I just did, all right? Either way, whichever the, of the three scenarios that you get, when you get out of your MOC after you drive that truck in there, just request it. All right, watch me do it in the video. All right, it spawned me uh, under the map. I landed at the docks because we all know that all the most of the interiors in the game are located under the docks. So that's where it spawned me. All right, so I'm just going to hit request. I'm going to go to Mobile Operations Center and request personal vehicle. All right, it's going to give me the last vehicle that I parked inside of my MOC, which was my Doom. All right, if you get stuck in that crawl space and you can't enter, your, I mean, you can't exit your MOC after you drive it in. Have your friend invite you somewhere to get you out once you're outside. I mean, well, exit wherever he invited you. Request a vehicle from your MOC, you'll have your doom. All right, the first scenario where I said it's all glitching to the wall, but you'll still be able to go to the door and exit the trailer. Once you exit the trailer, open up MOC inside the in interaction menu and request the vehicle. All right, guys, super simple. So hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell next to my name. Don't miss out on the future GTA 5 online video. It's me, The Wavy Gamer, and I'm signing off, y'all. Peace.